High fire signs, Sagittarius, Leo, and the uh, Aries. I'm not good with the element. The Sag, Leo, and Aries. Hi, my name's Nay. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a general reading for the fire signs. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I don't sugarcoat. I read the cards um, for, based on the meaning and also intuitively sometimes. I'm just like in between thoughts, so I'll say what it is that comes to me at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty honest. I talk a lot most, time, most of the time. But I've been away a little bit. And so, I wanted to start doing the elements. Well, there are not, I'll start doing the individual signs. Other than Capricorn, I don't know. But you know what? This is a good way for me to start. And this is a good way for you guys to get used to me if you've never been on my channel before. So, Spirit, what messages do we have for my fire signs? I'm going to have to split this in two because this is kind of hard to shuffle. Messages do you have for my fire signs? Ooh. The Hierophant. Spiritual wisdom. Tradition. We're going to see what comes out next. Messages do you have for my fire signs, please? Messages for my fire signs. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Five of Wands, avoiding conflicts, having harmony and peace, release of tension. Where is this going? I want to know. Messages from my fire signs, please, Spirit. Messages from my fire signs. I don't get this very often. It's the hanged man. You guys are surrendering or letting go of something. Maybe looking for a new perspective. <laughs> Messages for my fire signs. I just realized my fountain stopped too. Darn it. Um... The chariot, some sort of action or movement forward. I don't know where this is going. So let's see what else comes out. Give me one moment because I need, yeah, I know I don't match. A fountain. There we go. Thank you for your patience. Messages from my fire signs. I didn't even realize there was no sound. Oh! Two cups. Oh my gosh, does this mean you're going to have... Oh! I feel like this is going to be a very fast reading. Okay. So the Hierophant, this could mean that some of you might need to change your beliefs when it comes to certain things, um, possibly relationships. And then the Five of Wands, you guys are avoiding any conflict, you're, it, with, you're maintaining your peace and your harmony. Um, you guys are trying to give yourself a moment to let things go and get a better understanding of things you're not certain about. Um, and then it says um, that there's some sort of fast movement forward. And this is also willpower. And it might be fire signs, a way of saying that To give yourself a moment to actually change your perspective on relationships and love. And have the willingness to 
actually entertain the thought of a relationship should somebody come present themselves to you that you think might be interesting. And then I have the, the Ace of Swords, which is some sort of breakthrough or insight mm, or truth. And I do believe um, that this does have to do with your views on love and relationships. You guys are going to have some sort of mental clarity in regards to that and success. Okay. One moment. Messages for my fire signs. Messages for... Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is karma for somebody, some sort of justice. And actually, earth, uh, earth, fire signs are what you guys have been through, whatever it is. You changing your perspective on things. Might actually bring you the, the karmic justice that you need because it puts you into that mind frame to where you're open to new things, that being a relationship. And then I have the Knight of Wands. Um, this is funny. This is your energy. So it could be somebody coming in energetic with passion. That might be how you guys are in relationships. Maybe you need to change that in, in regards to your, um, the way that you enter relationships. How did that happen? Page of Swords. Some sort of communication. Thirst for knowledge. Some sort of message may be coming in for you guys. All right, messages for my fire signs. Messages for my fire signs. Messages from my fire signs. Please and thank you. Oh, that just... Seven of Pentacles. Some sort of long-term investment, sustained patience, success in waiting. For this, okay, you guys are you guys are passionate. A lot of you guys are impulsive. I feel like this is saying to kind of ground yourself or find some sort of grounding. And when it comes to love and relationships, don't move so fast. Move a little slower than you normally would. You can still have that passion without jumping in head first. For some people that can feel like too much. Oh. Uh, Ten of Wands. Too many burdens, extra responsibilities, <laughs> stress and exhaustion, struggles. Maybe this is what you guys are dealing with. Maybe this is how you feel in regards to love. For you, sometimes maybe the person that you are, maybe the people you are entertaining might feel like you're too much at times. And this is no way downing you or criticizing you at all. I'm just saying... Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. I'm just saying that everybody is not understanding and not the same. So you have to consider where another person is coming from. Sometimes you guys may come off too strong. But then I pull the lover's card. So I do believe if you change your views on relationships and how you approach them and don't approach them so spontaneously or so impulsively and, and take time to plan and think that maybe the other person doesn't move as fast as you, that you will actually have more success. You, that person won't feel like you're too much. And then here's the lover's card. 
and I'm actually going to end it with this. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. I was not expecting that card to pop out. So I think that's amazing. So fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Bye. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe. See you later.